average temperature of the Earth for the, over the whole Earth for a whole year and coming up with one number. What does that mean? Because I hope you know the average temperature for the whole world for a whole not to come up with one number. What is that? I think it means probably nothing. So that's my opinion. Doesn't mean a thing. And so why do I say that? Well, here's the hockey stick graph you probably all have heard about. And here's the, from 1882 now to 2013, the temperature increased from 288 Kelvin to 288.88 Kelvin. It's 0.003% is the temperature increase. That's what people are worried about. That's what people will spend billions of dollars on. And to me, that means that the temperature has been amazingly constant. I'm amazed that the temperature hasn't changed more. So here is the, as a friend of mine, actually, Stephen Chu, he has the Nobel Prize, and he suggested to paint all the roof white because he said that would help for the global warming. Now, I looked it up, and the population has changed from one and a half million <coughs> to seven million. <coughs> Think how many roads have been paved. Think how many forests have been cut down. Think of all the sh thing of change. But nobody talks about that. Oh no, global warming is due to increased CO2. That's it. They don't talk about other things. So, so here, I think that the hockey stick and the CO2 is my emperor's new clothes. The emperor's new clothes are the guy the day in story. The emperor told me he had to buy a suit of clothes on and he was naked. And the child. I feel like that child. You know, everybody seems to accept that they are in a very dangerous situation and they absolutely are not. So let me talk a little more about that. What is the optimal temperature of the Earth? Anyone speak about that? It's clearly it's not the temperature we have today. That would be in America. But nobody knows what the optimal temperature is of the Earth. It could be a few degrees warmer, a few degrees colder. I don't know. Where is the temperature measured? And here is the places where the temperature is measured. And these are the people who measure the temperature. The NASA got an institute for space studies. So they know what the temperature measure is. Now look at below 60, below 60 degrees up. Eight thermometers exist. That's from the South Pole. This is how the devastation has changed from 1970 to, to, to today. And it was here, the normal devastation was roughly 10,000 in 1970, and roughly 3,000 today. They have shrunk, they made it fewer. And what people like to do to measure average temperature, they want to divide the earth in grid boxes, five degree latitude and five degree longitude. If you do that, you get 2,952 grid boxes. But the grid boxes they had was roughly 1,200 in 1907 and 600 today. And still, they can extract the temperature of a fraction of a degree. I mean, that's Jesus. Unbelievable. So, what is the greenhouse effect? Well, because of the atmosphere, the Earth will be roughly 35 degrees colder if you didn't have any atmosphere. So that, that's the mystery about it. The fact is that CO2 has increased from 280 to 380 in 100 years. That's the fact. Temperature has increased <coughs> more than a degree. Yes, so is there a cause and effect of the CO2? And so you can look at that and you can make a simple calculation. In 14 years now, CO2 is still increasing. It's 96 now. And you can calculate if there was a linear relationship 
except that we should be the 0.1 degree warmer today than we were in, in, in 1998, uh, or the hottest temperature, but in fact, we're not colder today. That's a mystery. So here is the, here is the temperature. I only have it up to 2,000. Here is the CO2. This is increasing. Temperature is far higher there. And now after that, it means smaller. So how then come the meeting in Copenhagen to come about? That was the first famous meeting, and that was a dangerous meeting because people everywhere that was in tune by the global warming. And one reason a meeting like that comes out is because of the physical society and other scientific societies. This is what the physical society says. The evidence is incontrovertible. Global warming is occurring. And it's no effect is taken. Everything else, all health is all what they say. Human health is going to be bad, social system, security, everything is going to be bad if we don't take it care. How can they say that? In a physical society, there is a good now to discuss whether the natural constant changes with time. You're allowed to discuss multi universes, which I think is a ridiculous idea, but they're perfectly fine to discuss that. But you cannot discuss global warming, because this is the statement. They have tried to change that statement, but they won't change it. And therefore, I resigned from the physical society. I was shocked by the, by the effect that did. 